Peyronie's disease is a condition of the penis um, uh, during which a man develops uh, any number of abnormalities or deformities of the penis. The most common presentation of Peyronie's disease is a curvature of the penis. Uh, and this is what we call typical Peyronie's disease. There are atypical forms of Peyronie's disease. Uh, these are forms in which uh, a man develops uh, tissue deficits, um, deformities such as what we call hourglass, what we call hourglass deformity, uh, where there's uh, tissue deficits on both sides of the penis. Um, there are um, other forms such as having a bottleneck effect of the penis, which is, again, a form of tissue deficit um, in different parts of the penis, um, as well as uh, things such as hinge effect, where the penis really um, is, uh, has a bend uh, because of uh, scar tissue in the penis. Peroni's disease is a disease of scar tissue formation. It's a deposition of abnormal collagen within the penis uh, that happens, resulting in a variety of the deformities that I described. Um, the common causes of Peyronie's disease are, are in many ways un unidentified at this point, but there are theories of why we think Peyronie's disease happens. We think that there is, is a component of microtrauma to the penis that's, uh, that's involved with Peyronie's disease. This means guys that are in their 50s and 60s are experiencing um, some form of erectile dysfunction uh, or are starting to experience ED. During sexual intercourse, uh, there is some wear and tear. Or, or bends of the penis that may happen, uh, what we call microtraumas. They're not real traumas that men remember, but just my, mild buckling or bending of the penis that may happen, uh, which then results um, in an exaggerated inflammatory response by the body. The inflammatory response then results in uh, increased production of cytokines and a, a variety of different factors that then result in uh, sort of this hyper uh, response uh, resulting in collagen deposition or scar tissue formation. And that's really what Peyronie's disease is. So Peyronie's disease uh, can result in scar tissue of the penis. However, that scarring may not result in any deformities. The plaque that, that uh, is created from Peyronie's may not actually result in any deformities of the penis. Uh, it does become problematic when it results uh, or when it causes uh, difficulty with uh, intimacy and sexual intercourse. So when, when men have curvature that is bothersome and affects their ability to be intimate uh, or have other deformities, uh, that's when it is problematic and should be treated. So Zyaflex is a brand name for, uh, for what's called a collagenase enzyme. Um, this uh, product was initially developed uh, and FDA approved, uh, I believe around 2013, uh, after two large randomized trials. Um, yeah, which proved that Zyflex was, uh, was able to improve curvature in patients to up to, up to about 34%. Um, what it is is, a, is an enzyme called collagenase. Collagenase, as you can imagine, uh, is an enzyme that breaks down collagen. And the way that I explain this to patients is this enzyme breaks down bad collagen, which is the plaque that's deposited in the penis. If Zyflex does not work, there are no other um, FDA-approved medical therapies for Peyronie's disease. However, in many cases, I do offer things uh, such as tools such as uh, penile traction devices in order to see if that uh, provides any benefits for guys. But I'd, outside of medical therapies, there are several surgical therapies um, that men have the option to, to go through. Uh, and that all depends on the, the type of Peyronie's disease they had and the complexity of their Peyronie's disease. And these are probably nuanced conversations that we would have uh, during consultation and examination uh, about the procedures. So plaque incision or excision and grafting is an extensive surgery of the penis, uh, which involves removal or incision of the plaque or scar tissue, which then allows the contracture of the penis or the spring to sort of pop open. Well, um, the best way to describe it is uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm making an incision or a cut into a tire tube, which is the penis. Um, uh, incision of that tire tube will then result in a big hole. Now that hole has to be filled with something in order to seal that tire tube. And typically we use uh, different forms of uh, graft tissue in order to patch um, the penile uh, hole that we've created uh, in order to then result uh, in uh, normal erections.